For one of the world's greatest minds, it's one of the world's greatest threats. I think the development of full artificial intelligence could spell the end of the human race. We really try to create something which is Elon Musk isn't timid. He's bet billions on the electric car and the commercialization of space. But AI scares him. With artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. You know, you know all those stories where there's the guy with the pentagram and the holy water, and he's like, yeah, you sure you can control the demon? <laughs> Didn't work out. We can't rule out the possibility that... One Musk has cited author and philosopher Nick Bostrom as an inspiration for that fear. Suppose you actually could build human-level general intelligence. What would happen then? I, I think that we will soon thereafter have super intelligence. But then the problem becomes, if you could build something that would become super intelligent, how could you control it? How could you ensure that the outcome of that would be beneficial? This control problem uh, looks really hard. That problem has received scant scientific attention. Lost in the decades-long quest to develop thinking machines. The brain may be like a computer. There's no computer like the brain. At first, computers struggled to challenge us at simple games. Is that a bad move? I think it's very bad. The machine will lose now. It took immense effort to get them to understand even the simplest words. Zero. Zero. Spot is a dog. I thought we might be able to turn our tools back on ourselves and see precisely how we think and how we reason. Alan Mackworth was drawn to the field in its infancy. Now he's Canada's research chair in AI. In the early days, people were worried about problems like chess and uh, solving intellectual puzzles, solving logic puzzles or calculus problems. But these artificial intelligence systems didn't interact with the real world. Researchers tried to reverse engineer the human mind, but bestowing machines with its wonders remained elusive. But part of the problem was simply that the computers weren't fast enough and they weren't big enough. But now we have massive computing power, massive databases, and a limited form of artificial intelligence, bringing dangers to our doorstep. All right, guys, sorry about that. There's nothing I can do about that, guys. Paper came in, huge paper sellers coming through here, guys. In 2010, the markets made a record plunge within minutes. Start trading. 87 even start trading. 86 even start trading. 85 even start trading here now, guys, all the way down. It was partially blamed on computers running primitive forms of AI with the power to beat the market, possibly break it. Thanks to AI research, computers can now interpret human behaviors and pick out abnormalities. It's already happening and, and we'll in, we might increasingly shift into a world where basically societies are transparent, where at least somebody is able to monitor exactly uh, where everybody has been, uh, whom they have been talking to. And AI is one, like machine learning is one useful tool for that. And militaries are developing weapon systems that guide and potentially pull the trigger themselves. That may be triggering a movement within the research community. Many uh, roboticists and AI people are refusing to work on autonomous weapon systems because they believe they're simply unethical and, and too dangerous to work on. True AI that can learn and explore just like we can is still breakthroughs away, but close enough that science is now wondering how to control it. I think that Elon Musk and Stephen Hawking have done us a service by waking us up to a danger that many of us have talked about, but just in our own scientific circles. Now it's become a public issue. I think there's potentially, potentially a dangerous outcome there, and we need to... Dangerous. Potentially, yes. So. I mean, there's been movies about this, you know, like well, Terminator. Yes, but... <laughs> sure, it's science fiction, but behind it is real fear about machines that don't have to wait anymore for us to tell them what to do. This mission is too important for me to allow you to jeopardize it. I don't know what you're talking about, Hal. If, if AI went the whole way, it wouldn't be just another cool technology, another fun gadget. It would really be... Um, the end of the human era and, and the beginning of some new kind of era. The future would be shaped by these more powerful intellects and, and human intelligence would become obsolete. This is Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. This is the sorcerer's apprentice, you know. We've always uh, had this fear that the technologies will go out of control. 
What's new is that this technology is perhaps the most powerful we've ever invented. Bostrom's Future of Life Institute has an open letter calling for the safe development of artificial intelligence. Mackworth, Hawking, Musk and several other leading figures have signed it. So have members of Google, Facebook and other corporations that are spending billions to push AI to its next frontier.